Okay, I was going to try to get a better camera to do this, but it won't fit. Uh, this 2005 Hyundai XT350, uh, they tell you to look right there behind the radio and everything for the module where you can program the key fob. Uh, on some models, it's not there. Uh, where it's at, they tell you to remove uh, the kick panel, uh, well, knee board, knee panel, whatever. This is kick panel. Uh, they tell you to remove it so you can get to the electronic, uh, I forget what they call it now, electronic timing something control module. All right. Now, I finally found it. It took me forever. And of course, you can see you got instruction cams, you name it. All right. Um, you can see there, that is the fuse box. If it'll focus. And it's not going to focus. It just hates me today. And as the relays go up, as you go toward the top, and if I, uh, the light won't kick on. Typical for the phone, either way around. This fuse box, let me get my flashlight out, there we go. Uh, you can see it there. It goes straight up, and at the very top of this fuse box, all the way up there, I uh, don't know if you can see it through all the wiring harnesses. Doesn't look like you can. Sorry, I can't even see my phone screen. Either way around, at the very top of that is the electronic control module that programs key fobs. And it's set inside of a plastic holder uh, that is basically the hole of that fuse box way, way up there. You can almost see one of the plugs for it way up there. Either around, it's way up there at the top of that fuse box against the firewall. And the only way to get that out, because you cannot reach the switch, it's inside of a plastic container uh, that holds it in place. The only way to do it is to... Uh, pull the battery, disconnect the fuse box, unplug everything from the fuse box, which means all the wiring harnesses for the car. Uh, pull this thing down. You're probably going to have to remove this uh, uh, emergency brake assembly. And then once you get all of that done, you can hit the little release tab and remove the electronic programming module where the little switch may be or may not be hidden beside or behind some of that plastic that holds all that stuff together. Uh, Go pay someone $50 or whatever they want to program the thing. Good luck.